before we defeat the lab. Since we are the new Python, you are. Oh boy, I'm kind of late, but I did start stream on time, kind of, but uh, I was a little busy. My pre-game ritual kind of got a little screwed up, so I think it's about time that we began our journey. Getting my tea indeed, let's get it, partner. Here I go. It's-a me, Mario. Hello and welcome to today's stream. I'm Professor Bodhi, aka Mr. Bonnie John. Thank you so much for waiting and being patient with me. Um, that was a little unexpected on my part. We had um, some stuff that we needed to sort out. Everything is taken care of. Thank you again for joining me and waiting for me. Um, today, hello, hello, Alex Dingus, Sketch, Zach is here. Let's go, gang. Cowboy Bond, indeed. Cowboy, and then a little bit of Super Mario Bond, too, apparently. Um, guys, thank you. Thank you for waiting. Welcome aboard. You already know what time it is. I'm not gonna lie to you. Part of me just wants to jump into bonsers and all that kind of stuff, and kind of not finish this game don't get me wrong i've enjoyed it right more so i enjoy the time hanging with you guys and you know i needed the necessary break for my hand i've been working hard actually at uh the next art for my collab which uh you know can't announce what exactly it is um but it's all people i've worked with before I'm very excited about it, uh, so that's been kind of keeping me busy. I've been working on a commission as well. I can't show art for that, although I would love to. I spoke with the client and they want to reveal. Yeah, I think we're kind of, essentially we've been kind of speed running it in a way. Um, we haven't really been doing anything outside of the main story. Not that there's probably much that we can really do, right? Um, but yeah, the commission is really cool. Um, basically, I'm designing, or not so that much that I'm designing, but I'm um, got a sky dash over to Viridian. Um, having been working on the palette province and all that stuff in Pokemon Cross D&D, the map is a little different from... Um, where's the cycling bridge? Is it not here? Or is it... Route 6. I guess my map looks a little funny compared to this one. I might have to redraw my map a little bit, potentially. Um, but it's fine. Uh, True Green collab, Astingus. Maybe? Maybe? We shall see. The tentative release for the collab is going to be sometime in May. So uh, I'm basically going to be releasing... Um, my Pokemon Cross D&D &D around that time. I'd rather coincide with that release, gives me more time to work on it. Um, and since I'm pacing myself a little better, I don't mind doing Bonster art as well in addition, you know? Uh, Bonnie, Pokemon's hiring, I got the notification for... Wait, are you serious? Swing me that link in the Discord. Uh, I've been applying to other kind of jobs, but like I've been kind of feeling uninspired um, when I apply to different kind of jobs because, you know, I kind of know what I want to do, where I want to work. Um, and then also, I will absolutely be the first to say, you know, you've got to pay your dues. Um, and yeah, at the end of the day, like when it does come down to um, jobs, especially um for artists 
you gotta kind of take what you can get. So obviously, you know, if I get a cool art job, I would take it for sure. You know, I've been taking commissions, but um, thanks, Sketch, I appreciate it. But gang, welcome in again. Uh, I wanna hear about how your guys' day went. Uh, I played basketball today for about an hour and I was absolutely winded after. Um, so much so, it was weird because, you know, last week I'd played with my buddy and, uh, you know, I played for more time last time. We got way more games in, but I think the Florida Heat is kind of kicking in now, kind of kicking my ass. So that's what I did today. I worked on commission art. I worked on collab art. Um, by the way, oh, you know what? Wait, why Why did they put that there if we can just... Oh, I'm about to say. I had this weird dream. A lost spirit became a flame and was floating around. Will-O-Wisp, okay. Um, but yeah, I can't uh, talk about the collab too much, but it, it's kind of similar to something I've done in the past. But it's still its own thing, and genuinely, I'm not saying this just to like kind of create false hype or anything. Um, because you guys know that I love doing what I do. Um, but the designs that... Um, and there's a, a reason why, but they're among the, my favorite Pokemon designs I've ever... What's the right word? I'll say worked on. And there's a specific reason why I'm saying worked on. Um, what's up, Draco? Welcome in. Yanni asks, huh? Why is the door locked? Could open sesame? Huh. Yeah, I guess that isn't gonna work. Man. Oh, hey, Bonnie. Jeez, say something if you're just standing there watching me act all embarrassing like that. Well, never mind that. So, how many gym badges you got the... So this is seven, and it looks like we're even. All that's left now is the Viridian City Gym. Same for you, right? But this place is never open. I guess we've got to tell someone that we haven't been able to get into the gym. But who should we talk to? That old Micah? Should we ask Micah? Let's do it. Let's see what Micah says. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Makes sense. If I could understand anything you said, this is getting us nowhere. I'll say Professor Oak. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Let's go to see if he knows it. Oh, I thought the obvious answer was the old man. Oh, if it isn't Bonnie and Yanni. You two are both looking a lot more grown up than the last time I saw you. And you have impeccable timing as usual. Let me introduce you. This is my grandson. What's his name? Ah, I knew they'd do it. Oh, what's his name? Gramps, no one ever laughs at that joke. Would you give it a break? And besides, we've already met. My own grandson. You're no fun, twerp. Yeah, yeah, sure, Gramps. More important than that, though. Bonnie, Yanni, you two did awesome. Huh? With Team Rocket. I never thought their boss would actually be holed up there at Silvco, and the two of you managed to take him down. No, it wasn't me. Bonnie beat Giovanni all by himself. All I did was help out a bit. So what? You and your Pokemon did your best too, right, Yanni? So I got a little reward for you two. Got a keystone. What's a keystone? No, oh, is that a keystone? A stone that can trigger an evolution. Ooh, mega evolution! A strong bond. A brief poem, if I may. When two stones are held, when two hearts become as one, we mega evolve. That's the shittiest poem I've ever heard. That's not even a poem, bruh. Unless that was a haiku, but even then. The two of you should be able to use these as well. These are mega st Guys. We might have to put Charizard back on the team. I, I mean, obviously Charizard is the coolest Mega, okay? Venusaur sucks. They put a flower in his head. I like Blastoise, but like, it doesn't feel as cool as like a freaking Dragon Charizard, right? I'll take it. Shoot, let's put Charizard back in the party. I mean, I can't believe 
how quickly I switched up, but you know what? Raichu, it's been an honor. Thank you so much. Um, you want me to send you the link in a DM or put it in the main? It doesn't matter either or. If you want to put it in the main Discord, that way anyone who wants to apply can go ahead and participate. Um, you've seen that dead spread, dead, <laughs> dead bed spread is reviving the Calabo region. Alex, let's just say I've been known since day one. And that's all I'll say. Look forward to that video. It's coming out soon. Uh, my, my dude has been working hard on that. Um, he needed a break from all the crazy things he put on himself, which was making like a design every day, which is a very fun project and concept. So what he's going to be putting out soon, pretty cool. All right, so here we have Empoleon, Mako, Mika, Snorlax, Vile Plume, and Lapras. Which we need some names for these guys, actually. Dragon Charizard for life. Uh, two hearts is one. How does this equate to them being in pain? That's them just kind of like trying to cover up for it, right? Um, doing the Yanni voice is a lot, gang. Oh, soothing. Um, so. Do we need to give him... No, we can't even give items, right? So let's go ahead and we're going to put Mako up front. I'm going to take out a Pokeball. So, okay, we did this stuff. What? For Indian City's gym leaders never at the gym? Huh, that's odd. Maybe I'll go take a look myself. I totally forgot they added Mega Evolution into this, which is so cool. Alright. Let's go... Oh, Micah. What's up, buddy? What's this lady doing? It's a little girl. Oh, if it isn't Pikachu. You want to know what I'm doing? I'm picking flowers. I realize I can't go that high. I'm gonna make a bouquet for someone very important. But it's a secret. You won't tell anyone, right, Bonnie? Oh, that's right. Um, the Virgin City gym leader came back to the gym at last. That's what people are saying. You should head to... Okay, good timing. What do you see, Pikachu? How about ironic? Yeah, nice timing with it, right? Ooh, we, we actually move much faster on Charizard's back, too. So sick. Starters are not built the same. Yeah, buddy. Dracaris. Burn them all down. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's let Charizard uh, do his thing. Oh shit, should I talk about... Talk, let me talk to the old guy. Let's see what's going on with him. The Viridian City Gym Leader has returned! <laughs> Alright, let's get it. Yo, champ in the making! Even I don't know who the Viridian City Gym Leader is, but one thing's certain. You're qualified to challenge the Gym Leader because you have seven badges. The Gym Leader will be stronger than any other trace you've ever faced. Also, I heard the trainer here uses Ghost Grime, Ground Type Pokemon. Oh, how interesting. Look, it's the same kind of thing. Um, from his hideout. Oh god. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So it didn't stop us mid spin. Oh! There are no held items, so you can either just choose Mega as long as you have the stone. Okay, cool. You just click, plug, and play. <laughs> Thank you, Sketch. Yeah, Charizard, burn everything. Welcome in, Mast. Welcome in. Ace Trainer Yuji. If we end up doing what we need to faster today, I wouldn't mind working on some Pokemon Cross D and D. Oh, look at that Mega Evolution. That's sick. I'm gonna do this one first. Oh, so you can shoot. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's do. Oh, these moves kind of stink. That's not the right move. 
Ooh, that looks awesome, dude. Guys, this is an underrated design. It's nothing like crazy, but tell me this doesn't look and feel like an Akira Toriyama design, right? Critical, let's go. Dig, 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 trio, trio, trio. Uh, Ghost Bonnie. Ghost Pokemon, when did you become a gym leader? I wish, I wish I was a gym, no, I, I don't wish to be a gym leader. I wanna be like Pokemon Ranger. I don't wanna battle. I would just raise my Pokemon and be my best friends and that's it. They don't fight. I don't wanna see them in pain and I don't wanna inflict pain. The Nintendo Switch Pokemon game, how incredible. I thought I wouldn't see it till next year. I know, I'm giving you the good stuff, Arthur. Welcome in, welcome in. All right, flying won't work well against rock. Neither will fire, neither will normal. Dragon Rage will only do 40. So we need to ask for a crit here. Thank you, Scotch. I like Y more than Charizard X. Yeah, that's a very... Um... Yeah, I'm acting like I should be surprised four times weakness. All right, not a good show with Charizard. All right, let's get Empoleon in. Charizard, why? Yeah, exactly. And here's the thing. Blastoise and Venusaur should have um, gotten their own Y evolutions, and then they equally have, like, you know, black color palette, something really cool, something really badass. That way, Charizard Y doesn't feel so out of place. I mean, they clearly made him extra awesome just to be... You know, like, he's the mascot. A lot of people have Charizard over the other characters, you know? Personally, I think Dragon Charizard's a bit overrated and a bit too fans ever see. Y form feels more like, yeah, yeah, without a doubt. I wish to see it in Megaphor without it in pain. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, at the end of the day, look, there's no denying X looks so awesome. Y looks like a more natural fit in the same way, again, Venusaur and Blastoise are kind of natural fits. But, you know, I just wish, and everybody wishes, that we got the Blastoise Y, the Charizard Y, and the Venusaur Y. Why? Because it's only fair. Let's revive Hardy RR. We'll revive Charizard. I'm going to keep Charizard in the back pocket. We got to get his level up amidst the other Pokemon um because you know he hasn't been in the party he hasn't been leveling up I'll keep Charizard uh behind us we'll see once he's like buffed up a little bit we could use him you know against a Lorelei of the Elite Four right all right so what's going on here so if I do this then we go here okay Okay, so you have to go here, so this guy looks at you. Dare I say X-Form feels a little goofy? I disagree with that. Uh, G-Max did get in the base game of Sword Shield unlike the other starters. But yeah, the, the thing is, so Charizard gets a G-Max, the others got G-Max as DLC, and the the Galarian starters were also DLC G Max, and like that to me is the biggest disservice to your own game. You know, you want to be able to fall in love even more with your starters, and and so to have done stuff like that, I don't condone. I think that's really wrong. Don't paywall the generations gimmick for the most beloved Pokemon of the generations. Usually, among the most are the, obviously the starters. Um, so, I have the better Nidoking. We're getting a lot of money per win, gang. All right, so we beat him. We'll keep going. All right, not too shabby. Oh! Your Pokemon will ca cower at the crack of my whip. I just think Y looks better than X. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, it's wrong, but... It's fine. Um, I wonder if they will give the other two, meaning Venusaur and Blastoise, their due diligence in the next game, in Legends Plaza. Because the way I see it, 
like it just feels wrong like for Mewtwo okay he's a legendary Pokemon like it still doesn't make sense but like this is a man-made artificial Pokemon where are these stones coming from right we're just finding them in the overworld and then on top of that in Kalos not a single Colosian Pokemon gets it but then all these stones exist for Pokemon outside of the Kalos region in specific one region in particular Kanto obviously you know they have their reasoning but like logically even that's kind of hard to stretch so I'm sure that stuff they'll touch on ZA I hope expecting but not wanting Charizard Z you know I've seen a lot of Charizard Z concepts already um, and I think my most favorite one and if they do do it like this I think it would be so sick oh really uh, the ones I've seen are like, it's like Zygarde as if he took on the DNA of Charizard. So the silhouette is mostly Charizard, but the color palette is black and green like Zygarde with the hexagonal, hexagonal um, scales and stuff, and it looks sick. I've seen one of those for like Mewtwo, um, and it would be really cool if like they explained like, you know, if they wanted to do Mega Evolution, right? Be like, Mega Evolution X is the power of Xerneas. It's more of a life-giving kind of design. Maybe it's more of a supportive role, more focused on tanking, being Healy, maybe. And then Y would have been like Evil Tall's um, doing, right? It's like the Pokemon, maybe those ones are the ones where Pokemon feel a lot of pain because Evil Tall, you know, is the god of death or whatever. So it's like, their spirit is being sapped to trade for power, right? And then Z, maybe that's the perfect balance, of, you know what I mean? Um, we'll see. I, I, I'm kind of there with Mast where I'm put, you know what? I'm not expecting, but I can see it. Other than Deontay, this is true, but even then that comes later, right? Um, it's not like it's something that's in game that you earn like either way most of the stones you find you know haphazardly what did i hit the wrong turn in albuquerque what all right let me see hold on we go here all right oh my god okay i'm holding this thing wrong okay let's keep okay yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay so then we're gonna go here oh Okay, so we we go here. Can I, okay. Am I tweaking or am I geeking? <laughs> what? Okay, so we go. Okay, 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 okay. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> uh, son of a bitch, we can't get around this. <laughs> no worries, Sketch. What emails did you get out? Did you get all the correspondence? People think they will because of the Terror Raid Canto starters. And honestly, I love that theory. I think Deeb is the first person I saw with that one. Where they specifically showed a very specific set of types and you know it's speculation obviously but speculation is fun i love speculating i love talking and clearly i'm a yapper uh but i love yeah seeing all that kind of stuff you know so what do we think are they teasing something with those specific types they were very specific right starters you know they wouldn't willy-nilly just give random types right it makes sense for charizard dragon because you know a lot of the uh types that you know especially the bosses right the gym leaders there alpha or 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 what's the word not partner but like ace pokemon like pseudo wudo right is a tree but it was so clever that they give him a grass typing yo he looks crazy he's got fruit right next to him persian is just chilling here 
I find it silly that like the guy who works in the gym is like, even I don't know who the gym leader is. Like, what? All right, so here he is. I mean, this looks sick. Most wanted Evos, yeah. Tyrantrum and Auras, Noivern, Helioptolic, Lexies, Nato King, Flygon, Malamar, question mark, and Dragapult. That would give us a ground type Venusaur. I wonder what they would do with the grass ground. That's gonna be four times weak to ice, but he has thick fat. I say make him wall dragon for, for the X type. <laughs> Welcome to my hideout. It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you have found me again. Once more then. You shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. Mama beat your ass, boy. Personally, I think the terror gimmick for bosses is a bit flawed. Why is that? I loved it. I thought it was cool to see uh, starter, not starters, but again, Pokemon and then subvert expectations. Really changes up the game. Meaning, like, what we expect. The only flaw in their gym direction was that while you could go anywhere, it became a problem where you might get to a gym because you could technically get anywhere, but then they beat you because you're not at the right level. You know? That was annoying. Sounds out. Thanks for letting me know, Alex. Let me know when the sound... Hello, hello? Guys, let me know. Yeah, the level scaling was just not it. it, it to me, it's a baffling choice because it's not something that's that hard to implement. Um, I'm sure they could have gone in about many different kind of ways. Um, honestly, I think Charizard X deserves to be part Dragon. It's like a step closer to sending Dragon, which Charizard should, should... Wait, Charizard X is, right? I'm pretty sure Charizard X is Fire Dragon. Left thing came back, sound was fixed. Okay, thanks, Alex. Good to hear, good to hear. I'm not sure what that was. Sorry, Nido King, that you had to defeat your own kind. Ooh, and we got one, 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 one. Let's go for all the astrology people out there. Nido King versus Nido King. I was gonna say, who is the ace if it's not Nido King, but it's Persian, who is not ground type. All right, I mean, I'll just keep using Surf. I am the better Nido King. Dude, get destroyed. Get, get shit on. Get shit on. Another 11 11. Let's go. Oh, Rhydon. Wait, wait. Persian? He doesn't fight with Persian. Rhydon is his ace. Yeah, X is Dragon. Yeah, okay. That's what I was thinking. You confused me, Draco. Because they have a Pokemon that's supposed to trip up their type specialist, but then they change it to version ace into their type specialty anyway. Yeah, but it's more, I meant more so like. Um, for, for the Pokemon itself. It's like letting them become the thing we wanted or we expected them to be. Um, at the end of the day, the game is like mostly, you know, for kids. So like you can't give them too many crazy hard curveballs. Like it would have been cool for sure. But again, I think that's more something like that could also be solved. In addition, in addition to level scaling, like a difficulty system would be so welcome. Look, he's like sweating. That was a truly intense fight. You got 8,000 Poke Pounds for winning. No Mega X is Dragon Time saying. Oh, I'm saying Glad Charizard definitely earned it. Gotcha. Okay, the way you worded it looked like you didn't realize. Ice Tadia. Kids need to learn and grow up? Nah, you were a kid once. You, you plowed through those Pokemon games. Dap it up, Pika. You got an Earth Badge from Giovanni. An Earth Badge makes all Pokemon obey you, regardless of how their level is or who originally caught them. Wait, so why doesn't Team Rocket just steal all the Earth Badges and then all the Pokemon they steal would obey them? It's proof of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon League. And this TM 
a gift for a trainer who dare takes on the challenge of the Pokemon League. Earthquake? Oh, we're teaching that to our Nidoking. It's a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor to deal damage to opponents. I made it. A very long time ago. He made it? Back when I ran this gym far too long ago. I can't face my followers after being defeated like this. Team Rocket is... As of today, Team Rocket is finished! Actually, I rarely got to play, so that's not fair for you to be like, Oh, the kids need to learn to grow up. Be nice to the kids, Zach. As for myself, I shall dedicate my life to Pokemon training again. Let us meet again someday. Bro, look, speaking of kids, the power of 10 year olds, we just kicked this man out of his nice freaking lazy boy. He has these like expensive fruits. This beautiful, beautiful, look at the tiling. This beautiful carpet is at least 3 million Poke dollars. He's got a flat screen TV. And we just kicked his ass as a 10 year old. And this man's like, nah, I'm gonna stop doing crimes. How does that work in universe? Try telling the wild bear you have a fancy pin, see what happens, exactly. Uh, but I think he takes his role as gym leader seriously and professionally. Yeah, that's good. But you know what would have been really cool? I would have loved like in a remake or something where we meet Giovanni very early on. And I think it's better for the story, if I were writing it, where we meet Giovanni very early on and he's like, you know, maybe we beat him in the in the beginning and even Professor Oak is like, oh, there's Giovanni. We, you know, everyone loves him. He's such a beloved member of the Viridian community. Uh, he's the most powerful gym leader in all of, um, you know, uh, all of Kanto. You know, you see him at uh, all sorts of events. And, you know, he, again, makes, a, makes appearances. He's like a reverse Batman where people love him and he's so charismatic. And then down the line, we realize the reason why he's like slowly, you know, not keeping up appearances with the Pokemon League is because he's like delving deeper and deeper, you know, with his Pokemon uh, underground life, right? As the, the boss. And then when we battle him, our whole everything is shattered, you know? We're like, oh my God, we thought this guy was cool, but he's actually evil. He's trying to steal Pokemon. Maybe we can be like, why people always had trouble defeating him why he's the last trainer is because all his pokemon are stolen except maybe his persian or something you know like a crazy twist like that would be sick um but yeah all right let's see what this man is saying boy though what a shock i never thought a criminal would use a pokemon gym as their hideout see like that quote unquote twist would have hit harder if we got to meet and know giovanni way earlier if the rest of the world Pokemon region rather like talks about them and stuff um, That's it. I've decided I'll look after the Berlin City gym from now So I always said no, I'll be I'll be the gym leader. Wait a second Giovanni barely left did he like call the league and was like I'm done and Then they're like, okay, we need someone and blue walks in. He's like oh, I'm the leader. Huh? I mean, sure, but I think you've got a bigger challenge to face right now. So then, Bonnie, time for you to take on the Pokemon League. The Elite Four are tough opponents, but don't you dare lose. All right. So, okay, this is what we'll do, gang. We'll do versus Elite Four tomorrow, but we're going to go through Victory Road today. So we'll do our two-hour stream. We'll go through Victory Road. And then, uh, that's what I'm saying. It felt a little way too easy there. Speaking of Viridian Gym, I played this hack called Dark Violet that changes the Viridian Gym to the fifth gym and has Daisy, Blue Sisters, the gym leader, while Giovanni just leads. That's cool. I like that. So, what I want to do is. Um, Gen 2? Yeah, I mean, maybe. I, I would have loved to have, like, early on, we meet Giovanni and. You know, meet more like I like it in the newer games where um, we kind of see that, like, as you would expect, gym leaders are not just people who are waiting in their glass houses, right? They're people, especially La Primera, seeing her coming around, you know, when Champion Gita is, you know, going around and checking on gyms and 
all these kind of people i i love seeing that i like to see the overworld interactions because you know gym leaders are great battlers but they're also chefs and actors and musicians and probably pillars of their community right i finally caught up to you i got a nerf badge too that means we can finally get into the what the did he just beat gary so does gary suck or did he f beat no, because Giovanni quits because we beat him. Unless Giovanni beats him too, and then Giovanni's like, damn, two 10-year-olds beat me, I'm done. I heard the Elite Four are incredibly strong, but there's no turning back now, right? I think you're ready, Bonnie? Show me the Pokemon you've raised. My apologies, these emails coming in crazy. Uh, you're saying it would be better if he was gym leader rocket boss not rocket but yeah exactly i think like it would be a it would be a stronger hit like to our you know expectations and and i feel like a more bigger twist where we're like oh giovanni's cool everyone likes him some people are like oh man giovanni's got a dark side when it comes to battling he goes all out and it's kind of like giving a nod you know that like what do you mean dark side right you know obviously that's a little heavy-handed but i'm just off the dome like thinking like yeah like maybe it could be like other gym leaders saying like or other trainers or whoever else or, you know we're like more and more you just kind of hear professor oak is like oh how strange you know um giovanni's been missing from the gym hopefully when you're ready to battle him bonnie um he'll be there you know to fight you something like that you know and you're like oh why is all of a sudden he missing more and more um and yeah imagine you know like he's forced to run and he's never able to like battle you as i would rather have his last battle be um him as the boss of team rocket because it just feels like i'm not a snitch okay but like in the context of the pokemon world like a 10 year old kid is going to stop Giovanni and then be like, yeah, I'm gonna keep this information to myself. No, a 10 year old kid's gonna run to the, any nearest Adele and be like, um, Giovanni tried to like take over, you know, a freaking the apple of the Pokemon world, you know? Um, I like what Gen 5 did and had the gym leaders be introduced to people like, yeah, exactly, stuff like that. The most goaded ones. I agree, Dra Dingus, yes. Draco Kashan in with an Amen. Basically, we want him to be Lysander, but better. Yeah, I want to just be just better writing altogether. Like, the last game was the best put together as far as, like, again, having that overworld and, like, the world being so massive and sprawling and. But, I mean, meaning, put together, meaning, like, I like that the League felt very alive, you know? Um, okay. Wait, did we miss Dig? Was that... Was that what happened? Lysander and Team Burnout? Giovanni had some private business. Gen 2 Giovanni was cool. Yeah, without a doubt. Gen 2 Giovanni was very cool. Super effective? Or does the grass kind of negate the ground? Oh, you know what? Maybe we should put Charizard out. Seventy five hundred CP. Mega Horn. A bug type move. 125 with 85 accuracy. What do you think, gang? Should we do it? I kind of want to do it. So we can teach him Earthquake instead of Dig. Surf has been pretty clutch. Dragon is no real weakness, which I don't mind. And we want to do Poison. Why did Rainbow Rocket need to rebrand? Just so that's more like Game Freak trying to like make them more relevant in the modern day in a gen that... Team Rocket wasn't supposed to belong into, you know what I mean? It could have been Renegade Rocket, it could have been any kind of rocket, but um, it's less in-universe and more like Game Freak, like nostalgia time. I do kind of want to teach this guy Megahorn. What do you guys think? 
Megahorn, yay or nay? I like Dragon Pulse. We're gonna need Sludge Bomb. Surf is probably the move I can get rid of because I can always reteach it Surf. You know, they became more inclusive. Good for them. Is it theory that Giovanni drowns himself after losing? What the hell? No. During the Celebi event, which is why he doesn't respond to the Goldenrod radio message? That's funny. Um, company meeting during June. Good gravy. Um, let's do... Surf is really good. But you know what? Yeah, you know what? Let's just do Mega Mega Horn. Because I can always reteach it Surf if I needed to. I remind me, speaking of teaching, I gotta teach Earthquake. Marowak. Ooh. Crap, see, this is where Surf would have been good for super effective attack. But let's see, Mega Horn is 125 damage. And he missed it! I'd say not because Bug doesn't have a good offensive matchup. <laughs> Too late, Dingus, I messed up! Alright, we're gonna try again. They gotta buff Bug. Again, Bug feels awkward as a type. It's a kind of animal. Same with Dragon. At least with Dragon, you can kind of say, like, oh, they're beyond animals. They're like in this majestic, magical energy, you know? Alright, it didn't even knock out Marowak in one hit. I haven't heard the full theory? No, as soon as I heard Drowned, I, I cringed and I don't want to hear it anymore. <laughs> Some of these theories are just too much. Giovanni Drowned. Oh, the bone ring! The animation is crazy! <laughs> Yo, that was funny. Yo, did we miss Dig twice? What is happening? Bug should have slammed Fairy. I agree. Like, if we look at Fairy as like this beautiful la di da di da, Bug is like. It's like, you know, in a very typical gender kind of way, like the boys picking on the girls type of thing. You know? Like dropping a bug on a, a girl playing her Barbies or something. Oh, my fellas! Hello, Rosa, welcome in. Bug type weather effect? Oh my god, that's. I like bugs and the bug types. That is just horrifying. Let's try Mega Horn again. I know, right? As soon as Rosa comes in, it has to see Nightmare Fuel. It's like a million Joltix. Dang, Mega Horn sucks. We've missed it twice now. All right, at least we got the KO. Micah grew to level 56. I've raised my Pokemon up this much and I still can't beat you, huh? You know my opinion. Yeah, I do. I like, I like Fairy. It may have been a little on the nose, but what type isn't on the nose? Right. My headcanon is that the Pokemon world normal animal terms exist, but they just I was gonna say aptly apply to the Pokemon. Like how there are many different dog breeds, but just yeah, it could be. That makes sense. That may, that's a theory I like. Or headcanon. Yeah, headcanon is better. You know, buddy, I've always felt like I needed to look after you, ever since we were young. But I think, I think you're the one who has more talent as a trainer. It's frustrating. I've never felt this way before. Is this what makes it fun to race Pokemon? Whatever it is, I know I don't want to lose again. It's weird to even have to ask, but let me go on ahead first. <laughs> As he's crying his tears. Look, we're coming right after you, Yanni. Come back here. Come back here, Yanni. Yo, when I was a kid going up through this way, this was crazy. This part is so sick. Spider do sometimes rain from the sky? What? Only true skilled trainers can pass through here. Oh, that is indeed a bolter badge. Go right ahead. Ooh, I enjoy the pink fellas having a type. Yeah, they're this they're just a fairy gang. You can pass this point only if you have a cascade badge. Oh, that's a cascade badge. Okay, then please go right ahead. Wait, now I'm trying to think. 
I have this section naturally in the Kantosha region for Pokemon Cross D and D. Oh, how can I? Do I have to talk to you? That's a Thunder Badge. Looks like you've got Lieutenant Surge's autograph. Must be nice. He's he's mad. It's probably even fun if you constantly lose, but the plot moves on anyway. I was just thinking snow, but bug type not ice. Oh, what do we find, Charizard? Makers and high spirits. Bug type Pokemon. Bug type weather could be like swarm of bugs. Yeah, it could just be like swarm. A scale rain for both dragon and bug types. Hmm. I feel like for dragon, it would be like a draconic energy, like something more mystical. When I played Fire Red, I actually went back to this gate after I got the first badge and knew I was supposed to. Oh, wait, could you keep coming back and go as far as you only can with the number of badges you have? That's kind of cool. Boy, what is you doing swimming here? Bothering people who worked hard to get here? Don't tell me that guy can battle us. Good boy, what is you doing, boy? Oh, unless, you know what? He stops to ask us. Oh, okay, okay. I was about to say. That's so funny. They're like legitimately their job. They wake up in the morning. They shave their beard or their, their whiskers. You know brush their teeth put on a diving suit and they wait here all day for like 10 year olds to be like i got my gym badge or think about spider season that's really just webs over Ooh, it's just cascading raining silk dragon's fire rain down from the sky is super deadly marsh badge you can but they stop you if you don't have the next badge okay gotcha that's cool i never I never knew that. I would never have thought to come back. Ooh, Aminals. <gasps> we don't have an Execute yet. And they have a... Oh, they have Nidoran here. How interesting. Let's do this, gang. You encountered a wild Execute. You son of a god. We have so many Pokeballs. Ooh, I have a headcanon mild theory that Pokemon their trainers develop mild, empathetic bonds. No, I think that without a doubt, that's... I don't want to say obvious, but like... You know, we see in, in most cases our partner Pokemon, like in gimmicks, like say in Kalos. And I think it was Kalos and Beyond, where like our Pokemon will last, like have like an Endure style 1 HP kind of last ditch hurrah to stay alive because they don't want to make you sad and that's entirely connected to your bonds so that is something i wow Firo, so big not as big as charge on eggs we're going to execute at one giant egg i like that a lot better you know that adds i think more of a visual focus for the design six eggs like it's fine oh my god i can't stand this pokeball thing Maybe I should throw like this. I've been doing like this. You know what? Let's try that. Okay. I'm gonna go into bag, because obviously. Okay, let's do this. I don't think that was the right bag. I threw it so far. What would ground or rock type weather effect be? Rock Slide. Oh, Rock Slide is the name of a move. I don't think every type deserves a weather effect, you know? Weather... I mean, I guess you could say, like... Wait, no. Isn't... Wait, no. Isn't Sandstorm for rock and ground, actually? I think they already have it. Sandstorm. Because sand is tiny little bits of rocks. Alright, here we go. I threw it when he attacked... I don't think it makes that much of a difference. I don't know. Yeah, you gotta play with them and feed them muffins and beans. Bro, this is so annoying.
Guys, call it. White or black? I freaking hate this Pokeball Plus. Acid Rain, perfect. Works without the food. Yeah, that's true. I'm just naturally giving, um, you know, potions and revives, having them in the front of the party, battling together. It's very easy to get your starters, you know. Hero, I genuinely need you to get into the ball. <sighs> A volcano badge. We wasted so many Pokeball on Execute and Firo. Oh. Of determination. All right, let's catch this execute. Chat, vote for black or vote for white? Get in the ball, Nebby! Get in the ball, Shinji, at the same time. Awesome. Oh my God. This shit is why I can't play this game. It's too much. It's too much. Honestly. Like, you're just a bunch of eggs. White? Okay. <sighs> this pole feels like a trap? No. It's an innocent pole. It's to help me decide something. Zekrom. All right, so one for white, one for black. Let's go, we got him. It's time to crack me some eggs. Yeah, I did like that first design quite better. Executes data. White, what was Lee eating to be able to hold 2000 pound cosmic eggs? Probably, uh, execute. 2,000 pounds of execute. All right, so we have two for white and one for Zekrom. That's enough. I was asking, because I just I, when I was looking earlier, I, didn't, I realized I didn't have my earrings. So I have my white, aka my silver, and then I got my black. So we'll put black on this side. Oh, Zekrom equals white for the game. Oh. I was thinking Zekra, I'm just straight up for black. Oh, two for black, dang, came in late. I'm just gonna put silver on this side. I guess I should have said white, or silver instead of... Have you seen Princess Mononoke? Oh my God, Dengus, who do you think you're talking about? Or talking to? So the reason why I'm an artist, I swear to God, is because of Princess Mononoke. Uh, when I was 16, my cousin got me two movies. Princess Mononoke and Spirited Away. And that was the, those two films, in specific Princess Mononoke more so is the one I connected to more, but I loved Spirited Away. In fact, uh, my buddy's going to Japan and one of my big regrets, two things I regret not buying in Japan. Uh, a Japanese Damascus steel style knife, like, like a old chef knife. And then vinyls, Studio Ghibli vinyls. So I'm gonna have him buy me vinyls for Spirited Away, Princess Mononoke, um, Howl's Moving Castle, and probably um, Nausicaa. Uh, if not Nausicaa, I also love uh, Kiki's Delivery Service. I'm gonna put in this space, because it's wide open, those vinyls as frame art. And so 100%, I've mentioned it that uh, Studio Ghibli is a huge inspiration for me for monsters. And in general, like storytelling and world building as a whole. 
You know, like, he is one of my all-time inspirations. The Egg Boys! You would love to eat the Egg Boys, wouldn't you, Sketchy? All right, let's see how fast we can get the... That was a big boy. All right, what is that? Mako's brain with fiery spirit, but what is what is that? It's like a column that's broken. Oh, switches. It's a big block. Do you want to use the secrete? S secrete? The secret technique? Yes, I do. Studio Jablani. No face is very much creepy. Well, I have a friend who loves no face. And then I... I have a friend who uh, got no face, a, a different friend who has a no face tattoo. I bought one of those friends, uh, a cute little no face, cute little charm. Moltres is in here? Really? I forgot. The wall blocking the path has come down. Nice. You know what? I don't, it's going to be really jarring to keep running around here. And, uh, Getting the speed boost. So let's do this. Oh, let's go! What? That's crazy. He's holding up. Wait. Wait. Why are we on the belly? Why wouldn't we just be over the shoulder? That's so funny and so cool. Most of like execute should evolve into Chansey. Oh, I love that. I love that. They're based on two very different things, but uh, I can see that. I'm not saying I don't like No Face. I'm just saying Spooky, which is good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess we need to go this way. Do we have a Graveler? Every single, every single time I get to watch a Ghibli movie, something happens. What does that mean, Rosa? What does that mean, something happens? Gosh, it's always so close. Wait, do I have gravel already? Is that what that Pokeball symbol over there means? Or do all the Pokemon just have that there? Way over them. Don't explode. No, I don't think they do here, right? They'll just run away. Bruh. And I wish there was like a quick. I wish there was like a quick way instead of going back and the da da da. Like, if there were like quick access to like. Like maybe most used items or something. You know? Though something called Execute probably shouldn't evolve into a Healermon. Well, that's just the name, right? It could have been named anything. What if it was called, like... Even Execute as a name doesn't make sense, because it's just a... Psychic tree. I'm saying, like, that's normal. But it still doesn't fit in the context of its own evolution. Oh, so means already caught? Okay, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, is that just there for graphic design? Right, let's get out of here. Get out of here! Yeah! You can't push it any farther, what do you mean? We pushed it once! I'm late, there's a problem, my brother needs him, gotta go. There was a fire? Okay, I hope everything is okay. Please stay safe. We will see you soon. Wish you the best of luck. Thank you for hanging out, Rosa. Be safe! Oh, it's always so, okay. I thought right now. Oh my god. I'm like thinking like how Execution execute tree seed. It doesn't it's not a good name. It's just like a very gen one. They're like here's a, a pun or something combination, you know So you haven't seen a single studio Ghibli film we have to put you on I say watch Princess Mononoke or Mononoke Hime. It is my favorite 
one of my favorites. It's hard to say. Like, I do love me Owl's Moving Castle quite a bit. And without even knowing it, when I was young, I would watch Kiki's Delivery Service. And not realizing it was Japanese animation, let alone Studio Ghibli. Um, yet another miss from Megahorn. You're not the real Empoleon. Uh, let's do Dragon Balls. But yeah, so... Sit down and try to watch it. it, it there... We did so little damage. I, wait, how does Diglett work? Does its stats transform? Oh look! He dodged the attack because he heard the voice of my shout. That's like a bond type of thing that Roger was talking about earlier. So it's very much active. An active element of this franchise. <laughs> what is this? This is so stupid. We're like dodging each other. So now this Pokemon is taking on my own type, right? Oh my son of a gun. I swear to Glob. No! <laughs> this is so... Okay, we went nice. What is this man feeding this ditto? Why is he so strong? Yeah, we're trapped in a loop underground. We keep running into each other. And damn it, I just realized this damn ditto has copied my beautiful shiny. Sir, I spent 331 tries to capture this ditto. You can't just have a shiny all willy-nilly. Oh my god, Empoleon might go down for the first time in the entire game. Alright, so you know what I'm gonna do, gang? Lapras is part ice, so it's gonna take super effect damage to... Dig? But I wanna see what it looks like out in the field. Because it executes his head, falls to the ground, executes a bunch of severed... Oh, well, so it's been executed, you think? But I want to hear and see if the names are the same translation in the other languages, let alone Japanese. Because they're based off a of yokai. So... You cornball! Yeah, my poor boy was gonna cry! No, I knew that. I wanted to see Lapras. I knew it was gonna die. Shiny Ditto doesn't have shiny transformations. No, but it transformed into my shiny Needle King. Oh, I see what you're meaning. A shiny Ditto. Oh, that would have been sick. Um, Mega Drain, that's going to be canceled out by the poison type, even though it's super effective to ground. What? Don't t don't tell me my own Needle King is gonna kill me. Let's just get him out of the way because he's gonna be weak. So I don't want him to. All right, let's Mega Evolve, Mega Shin Cup. All right, we're gonna do X this time, and we're gonna hit him with. Ember, really? That's what we got? Ooh, he looks awesome, dude! Critical hit, are you s A critical hit? So this is how all the trainers in the Kanto region must have felt when my Needle King was wreaking havoc on everyone. Oh, we have Surf. And we've got Rest. No! <laughs> Wait, so does that they don't have my stats? Pikachu, I need you to land 
the splishy splash first. <laughs> okay, let's go. No, we're poisoned! <laughs> It didn't do anything! <sighs> Who is this man? He's so lucky that he he went against my... Uh, do we have like a max revive? Oh, no! No! <laughs> I saw at the last second. Oh my god. And then I wasted one of my two max revives. That's so dumb. Why would they? Oh, okay, I didn't waste the max revive. Max potion. Ditto. You will pay for your crime. That's what I'm saying. This can't be normal. Not for Ditto. Thrilled to bits. <coughs> Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna do another dig. How are you faster than me? I'm several levels higher than you and you're... Chat, does the Ditto take my stats? He's level 49, I'm a level 50... Five Nido King. With the most insane, I'm like 7,500 CP. And then chat was like, don't use Ditto, Ditto's a gimmick mon. Dude, this Ditto kicked my, my entire team's ass with my ace. So it's always a normal experience. Oh my God. Dude, this guy destroyed our party. Okay, so this is what we have to do. Allow me to demonstrate my thanks. 10 Pikachu candies? All right, so first of all, this is what we got to do. This is going to be our opportunity to really level up. So I'm going to quickly, can we fly back here? I'm going to go heal up because we need the, the entire party. Um... I'd love to be able to fly back and not have to swim. Maybe not. Because we need to make sure everybody gets their experience. Did it, you know, that did it was just... <sighs> Legitimately put me through the ringer. Never fought an NPC did it train, so I'm like, sorry no one warned you. <laughs> it's all good. We survived, Rosa. Hello, Justin. Good to see you. Welcome and welcome in. We just barely made it. <clears throat> like, literally, I think 31 HP. Needle King has never been that low. He's never felt pain before. And now he's strong and ready to feel. He's, he's felt the waters. He's he knows what's out there. Now, I don't think we can fly back to that area. Let me see if we can. It would be nice. They don't steal stat buffs, but not EVs or IVs. So people often use a Ditto with max speed to... Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> but then that Ditto had to be something special. He was like five levels lower than Needle King. Still gave him a run for his money. You know? Can we not fly there? No. Boo. You like? Screw it. I'm going to make you a Cygnus suit. <clears throat> Step up from Volt. I'm going to add some pizzazz. Okay. 
Let's see what you got cooking, Justin. Thank you for the fan art, gang. I would love to do like a showcase once we get more posted on the community page. <clears throat> Let's go, Snorlax. Snorlax. I still find it funny that we're hanging on to the belly. Big jump. Oh my god. Guys, I am shooketh. I wonder how fast we can get through the victory road, because I would love to start the Elite Four tomorrow. What we could do is victory road today, elite four tomorrow, and then the champion the day after. How does that sound? And do you think we should do a day for legendaries? Meaning Articuno? Yeah, we should, right? Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, and Mewtwo. Oh, here's Firo. We can at least catch Firo. Psych, I don't watch Firo. He freaking won't stay in the ball. <laughs> Didn't press the wine pizza? Let's go. Even though I don't like the sound of it, I want to be better. I don't want to be the person who's going to be like, oh, white pizza sucks. I mean, it doesn't sound like it's my thing, but I'm trying not to be a hater. That's called character growth. Why does everybody want to land someone likes belly? Hey, listen, legendary. Okay, good, good. So we'll do the legendary hunt. Listen, all I want in life is a life-size Snorlax plush. So what our trainer is doing in game got to be the closest thing to that. It's a nice soft belly. Can't go wrong with it. Oh my god, that Jiru took tiny in comparison. I wonder if you're good enough for me, she says. Excuse me, lady. Ace trainer Naomi. The way I get wine pizza replaced the tomato sauce with Alfredo. Sounds less and less like an actual pizza with pineapple and Alfredo. I heard pizza. Sketch came running back. Five stars. What's up, JC? Welcome into our mod, JC. Well, if you like it, <laughs> that's gonna. Oh my God, he dodged the Mega Horn again. All right, we really gotta get rid of Mega Horn, gang. Remind me after this battle, we gotta go to, into the TMs. Ouch! We just took so many hits. For fifteen percent, I feel like missing two in a row is kind of whack. I still laugh every time I like read Empoleon game. I'm like, that's not Empoleon. I'm like, oh yeah, actually it is. <laughs> Combination. I bet it does kind of taste good, but it don't sound like a pizza no more. Let's do keep battling. Oh wait, here's an instance where I think Bug would be super effective, right? You should get on regular pizza, but try. Okay. By the way, for anyone who loves. Hey, what's up, both of them in? <laughs> All right, let's go, Snow. Get away from me. This is the, the killer himself. The ditto, the ditto man. All right, so what happens here? How do we push this to our advantage? So we got to do... Secret push technique. All right. Make you use, okay. One. Okay, so I guess we get we can choose one at a time. So we grab this first, which we got a leaf zone. And then what we'll do is, if we remember, we'd come back and then push it that way to get the other item. Comprende? Let's go this way. Oh, so we could use this to escape, right? Is that what that is? 
Not a skip. Ooh, let's get the ride on. Oh crap. Imagine we see like a shiny down here, gang. I'm surprised we haven't even run into a single shiny. I, I know full odds are, you know, full odds, but like we run into a lot of Pokemon throughout the whole of the game, you know? Excellent. You son of a gun. Guys, next Friday is my birthday. Should I do like a birthday stream? I don't know what I would do. Maybe I could do art that day. Cause I'm gonna be going out in the evening. Look, you got one, but this is not a shiny. Is it? This is a shiny I didn't realize. But yeah, should I do a birthday stream next Friday? I'm gonna be going out in the morning to get a haircut. And then in the evening, I'm going to go out with friends to watch a movie and have dinner. But I usually take Fridays off. But you know what? Like, I really like the idea of celebrating birthdays. Like, before I was, pride on! You know, before I was like, oh, it's just a birthday. Who cares? It's another day. But I'm like, no. Now, I'm as I'm older, I'm like, we don't get many, I mean, I don't say many birthdays. But, like, you get one birthday a year. Got to make the most of it, you know? Birthday Bonnie coming up. Maybe we can draw Brody Jones wishing you a happy birthday. What's this we? I'm drawing my own arch nemesis. It would be brown if it was shiny. That ain't shiny. Not, no, the one you have. Yeah, but to be fair, Rosie, that's the one I hunted way too long for. Um, <clears throat> Friday, three days from now? Ten days from now. April 5th. I'm the Lord of the Aries. Okay, let's defeat this person. Crap! Remind me, gang. I gotta use my TMs. We gotta teach this man Earthquake. Which is just one of the best ground type moves. Flare Blitz, you're gonna kill yourself. And yeah. What? It did so little damage. I'm gonna hit him. You better land this Mega Horn. Thank God. Brody Jones, one main unexpected surprise. I mean, completely expected. I can't believe it didn't kill itself after all that damage it did to me with the recoil. Rolando. Rolando. Also, it's up to you if you want to work on your birthday. I don't, I mean, you're right. Streaming is work, but it's also not work. You know what I mean? Like, it's a best of both worlds kind of thing. Bonnie, can I make you a cake? Uh, <laughs> whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do. I'm not, you know. I don't want to say yes or no. Whatever you guys want to do, I would of course appreciate it. Um, you guys know I'm bad at receiving gifts, but I'm always grateful. All right, victory bell, easy peasy. Let's do Dragon Pulse. Maybe I'll do like a one or two hour stream just to check in. It's a hobby that we somehow benefit. Yeah, I mean, I'm not making much money, if at all, right now, but, you know, I'm putting in the time. At the end of the day, I'm creating stuff is the main thing, especially with the art, you know? Um, everything always goes towards something, even if you don't necessarily feel or reap the benefits right away. Yeah, Victory Bell floats. It always floats, which is weird. But, uh, wait a second. Now that I'm thinking about it, Weeping Bell floats, which is altogether pretty weird. But Victory Bell? Huh. Interesting. Don't like buttercream frosting. I like whipped frosting better. Feels like, feels like I'm eating cement. <laughs> I don't mind buttercream. My favorite is lemon cake. I know it sounds weird or gross. The Super Saiyan! It's a real it's a Super Saiyan. Okay. Let's do... 
No, JC, you were so close. As soon as I saw that, I ran into him. Oh, but we already caught him, so we don't need to. We don't talk about- We don't talk about Bruno. Bridge Bell sounds like a woman screaming? Yeah, in the anime. Alright, thanks, JC. We got this. Let's go ahead. And we're gonna learn... Some cool moves. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, you know what? Actually, look. I'd rather Charizard have Fire Blast than measly little Ember, right? So let's let's get, a, get rid of Ember. Okay. Empoleon can learn it. Will-O-Wisp. Earthquake. Charizard can learn Earthquake? I mean, I guess that makes sense. Did you know Ask technically gave a kid his first starter? What does that mean? Ash? Who did he give a starter to? So we're gonna replace Dig. And we gotta replace... Guys, what do we give... I feel like Surf was really good on, uh, on this man. Rock Slide. Charizard can learn Rock Slide. That's not the coverage he needs, right? Snorlax can learn Earthquake too. Got a pretty decent kit. Fire Punch, Surf, Headbutt, and Rest. We'll keep the normal and we'll keep Rest as a classic. What do we teach for the final move? Surf? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Should we give Mako Flamethrower? That would be a lot more consistent, actually. The other kids need attention, man. I know. Kid saw a Pokemon from Master's Bell and he thought he caught Pikachu, but instead he caught a Bell Sprout and he let him keep it. But that's kind of a bad lesson. He let the kid keep a stolen Pokemon. All right. I promise this is what we'll do, chat. When we fight the Elite Four Tamari, we will... We will swap out Nidoking for respective Pokemon who have... Ooh, you know what? We can use Brick Break for Charizard. Because if he goes against a Rock type, he can Brick Break them. All right, that's perfect. And so yeah, for each one, we can... So Lorelei will use Charizard. Huh, we don't have any Psychic types against Bruno. Against Agatha is Ghost, right? So what is, what is strong against Ghost? It's Dark and Psychic? Scald. I like Thunderbolt on Empoleon too. But Mike, you know what? Let's give him, let's give him Surf because Lapras, I don't think, is going to be super reliable in the league. She's only level 43. Good Redden's Megahorn. You didn't do shit for me. That episode was focusing on the Sprout Tower. If the Pokemon liked him, it's fine. He stole it! Turns into a Hariyama? I mean, he gets to come around to liking Bellsprout at the end of the episode. But then, this Bell, I mean, I guess Bellsprout would be happy that someone would want him, but it would kind of suck too if, you know, Bellsprout was sad that his trainer didn't like him. I remember in the Pokemon League, do you guys remember Ash fighting this one Bellsprout who was dodging? He was like, Bellsprout, and he's just like, <laughs> I believe he was ducking and weaving um, Bulbasaur. Maybe Pikachu too, and he was like, it was so crazy. <laughs> Man, I love that anime, it was so fun. Uh-oh. Okay, we push. Get away from me, Golbat, you guys are so big. He said the kid sold Pokeball, not a Pokemon. Yeah, but I just, wait, was, but Bellsport's gotta be in the Pokeball, no? 
and the kid grew up to be James of Team Rocket. I got to do, alleges to be go to be Ghost, but she's really just Poison 2.0. Wait, extra Gengar. Yeah, because they don't got no uh, Ghost Pokemon in this. Ghost be Ghost. Ground is good for Agatha. Her Mono Poison too. Gotcha. Thank you, JC. Look at this guy's hair. Super Saiyan Rose. I think I thought Victory Bell was like a Jota evolution of Bell Sprout. I was wrong. Look at Hypno. This is something I would fix. Like, you can't just be having a metal disc on a piece of string and you evolve and you have it in your hand. That ain't logical. Drown an electric touch with the E4? Slow bro time. Slow bro. I'm sorry, little one. And I'm telling you, poison should be super effective against water. You put poison in tea, you're dead if you drink it. Lorelai, Slowbro, Dugong, Lapraz, Oyster, and Jinx. He stole the ball, caught, caught what he thought was a Pikachu, but we thought. Yeah, that's what we're saying. It's not like he stole just a Pokeball, he stole a Pokemon. One word, Bonnie, spoons. The, the tool that we use to eat ice cream. And no stays away from. I know, so don't get me started on Alkazam. I hate that too. Uh, Hypno stays away from kids' schools. Absolutely. Where's two Onyx? That's dumb. Why does he have two Onyx? Here's Ryu. <gasps> Machu. Meanwhile, this man is just literally a man. He gets straight. It's tiny. Okay, yeah, so we don't have this guy. He's about to punch me. Look at this frame. Wurra! Ready? Here it comes. Woo Stole the bubble that was empty. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay. That wish Hypno looked more like a Baku instead of a creepy looking old man. Shivers. I got this Armel Goldbach, two hunters. Don't tell me everything, even though I know all these stuff. What if I wanted it to be a spoiler? I'm too powerful for my own good. I should just wrestle this macho. If you really turn into Mahariyama, you can't talk. Come on, game. You'd just be saying, Hariyama. Do I have to... Okay, so you're telling me I gotta stand right back here. He just punched my Pokeball. Ah. Okay, that was a little better. All right, good. In this drawer, I have all my drinks. <laughs> a little secret for you guys. How am I? Do I go like this? This is redonkulous. I'm just trying to help, I know. But if I were playing a new game, I definitely wouldn't have wanted to know the um, Elite Four lineups. Master Bolt caught, dang. A lot of water types, Land uses a lot of flying types, even though he's a dragon trainer. I hate this mechanic so much. It is not fun. Redeem your new... My brother, I think, already redeemed the this Mew, so I don't know if it's a, a, if there's anything there. Ooh, my God! My camera can't even catch that speed. <laughs> Why am I doing that? Sidewinder. Ooh, the Sidewinder might be it with the kick. Oh, that's perfect. Invisibody. 
My brain knows that Blossom is an Odyssey, though. Yeah. Hoody, hoody. I swear to God, Machim, just get in the ball. All right, now you're pissing me off. I don't, yeah, I, here's the thing. If you wanted to sell the, the, oh my God. I get if you wanted to sell the game and you wanted to make an extra buck, but let us use the regular remote. Okay. I don't want to fight you, so I'm going to do this. Yes. We're so smart. All right. So there's a wall here. Anything down this way? Oh, here's a, sti a stitch? A switch. Okay, I'm guessing we got to drop something from the top. Solar beam, let's go. Although it takes two turns to attack with. Back in the day, solar beam was sick, but now it's just a regular, regular move. And is it worth waiting two turns? At least with dig, right? Like you can um, kind of evade an attack, right? This guy won't let us go. If you could fist fight a Pokemon Bonnie, which one would you want to fist fight? I'm not going to answer that question. I don't want to fight anybody or a Pokemon in specific. Personally, I feel like the Candle Elite Force should have had teams that suit their aesthetics rather than type specialty given their limited options. Yeah, but again, this is all like... They didn't even... They had so much trouble developing this game, coding. They didn't think it was going to be anything more than just, you know... That stuff they could fit down the line. I do think that's better for like the overall kind of difficulty, especially for a final battle. But in keeping with theme and tradition, it's types. I agree. I think gym leaders should have vibe more than types. For me, I would fist fight Midnight Lycan Rock. Why? Let us just throw in game. This isn't Jazzercise. I know. I was throwing my arm out. That was crazy how many Pokeballs I had to use on that dumb Machoke. And like, I was like chucking way over his head. Fine, obviously some of them I did my Sidewinder special. Like, I feel so inconsistent. Sunny Day, it takes you one turn. Yeah, but then you still have to set up Sunny Day. Treasure White is Drought, which is good for Solar Beam. Bonnie trying to fight a primate? Oh, no! I don't want to fight an annihilate people would annihilate me. Two roommates to fix it? Yeah, but that's not a problem they sought to quote-unquote fix, right? So, like, the verbiage to fix it? Like, I don't think people care, but they do probably care, but they don't. The issue is more so Snorlax almost lost its balance, and then that means we would have came crashing to the ground. So I'd say it's more like they should have chose Pokemon that could represent the types. Because there aren't a lot of ghost types in this game. So to be like, I'm a ghost type trainer, and then just one line. Instead it should have been like, I'm Agatha, I'm a poison type trainer. And I can use, say, Vileplume, Venusaur, Ghastly, and Gengar and Gang. Oh, we have an Onyx, so... People care, but not enough. That's just the vocal, like my, the vocal majority in like a sea of 25 million players plus whatever, don't think it's an issue. You know, that's more like us tryhards, you know? Oh crap. Oh wait. I feel like Bonnie could fight Prime if he had enough adrenaline pumping him up. Primeape is small, right? But we can't underestimate him. He's like a straight-up pig baboon gorilla. He'd probably tear my face off. You know? Even though he's, what, like, two, three and a half feet tall or something? Why does our Chalidon have an electric-type signature move? It doesn't get stabbed with its own move. 
chat, what's the answer to that? Oh, sorry, you're right. Koga is already the poison. Yeah, so maybe instead of ghost and... So we have eight gym leaders with 15 types in this game, right? Uh, 14 or 15, I think. Because then we had two more with dark and so, uh, darkened steel in the second generation. Um, in that case, what are the leftover types? We had rock and ground and brock. Water, fire, grass. Electric we had. Oh, maybe a normal type gym leader would have been cool. Or Elite Four would make sense where they're like, yeah, none of the gyms wanted to prioritize normal because no one thinks it's special, but here I am in the Elite Four with the most normal Pokemon. Fight, yes. Win against Primate? Nope. I agree. Um, so it'd be normal. We already have Psychic. So they, we did have fighting um, in the Elite Four. Oh yeah, so they did. Wait, wait, so then yeah, Ice type for Lorelei makes sense. And Dragon, yeah, so that is what kind of what they did. They just simply didn't have enough Pokemon in the line. And I guess to be fair, they did scrap a whole bunch of Mon, right? That we would eventually see that came around to Generation 2, and then even Mon cut from that game that were meant to be in Pokemon 1. Right? Red and blue. I get, forget more about Koga more and more each year, yeah. Flying type gym, yeah. And then Faulkner. No, I'm not cursing. His name is Faulkner. He was a... Oh, wow. When you think about it, it's like Falconer. He was the first gym leader in Gen 2. And, uh... He's a flying time. I just probably made and the Pharaoh Ash bumped on the head with the rock both evolved because Ash made the mad and still held the grudge. If you partner with the legendary Pokemon, what would it be? We have to know your personality. Anybody could say any answer, but is that accurate? Probably not. So we'd have to everybody would have to get to know like I think everybody kind of knows who I am. So they would know, like, Bonnie's a hard worker, he's a goofball sometimes, he's this. What would fit for those personality traits? It's funny because Gen 2 used the leftover types for their gyms, but we used Dragon for Claire rather than have a gym for Dark. Dragon as well. Yeah, that is interesting. Why does he use Pidgey? Hoot Hoot is right there? Crazy. And Hoot Hoot is so cute. I just love me anything owl. And Hoot Hoot's awesome. I I really think Noctowl is gonna get some sort of treatment soon. If it's Mega Evolution or um, potentially an actual evolution, right? Maybe a regional variant. See, I'm kind of torn with Mega Evolution coming back. Obviously, I think it's awesome. Can't wait. But, I think that... Hold on. I think that some Pokemon who gets Mega Evolutions, I'd rather them have like more permanent evolutions. You know? I feel like Megas they should treat as like Bond Phenomenon kind of thing, where it's something that... maybe unique Pokemon have and not any just Pokemon willy-nilly, you know? I mean, again, I'm sure they have a process, but they don't randomly choose it. Dang it. Now I thought he was going to be an owl bear. Trust me, Draco. Trust me. I am doing an owl bear for monsters. So I'm gonna have it start as like an owl chick, and then when it burst evolves, it'll become an owl bear. That way, I want to do the burst guys as like creatures that, um, like go to the next level. Like I didn't want to make a small owl bear, and then it becomes like a bigger owl bear, and then when it burst evolves, it becomes a massive owlbear, right? So for example, I want like 
a fish kind of monster, and then it burst evolves into a mermaid. You know what I mean? Because like burst is like this really powerful mechanic that's like you know evolving based on like friendship and all that kind of stuff, right? Like your bond. So really leaning into what Pokemon didn't do with Mega, which was like most of the Megas are like you know objectively depending on cooler evolutions more spikes more tendrils or extreme things jutting out but design wise like there's no rhyme or reason per se i want like the specific ones that i evolve they feel very earned you know so then the treatment they just added are all torn all the way all over again. Gen one and a half came out today. One and a half or one oh one or two, they would have had gym leader and E4 for every type. Yeah, probably. And that's you know just a matter of learning from their mistakes and whatnot. Uh I don't think that we've ever had a traditional slime bomb, which is surprising since they're so iconic. Grimer and Ditto. Yeah, I don't think um well I don't Ditto is a, a unique slime, and I'm also putting a slime in, in my Bonsters game, too. By the way, I'm gonna give you guys a name for one of the, the Bonsters stuff. Give me your thoughts, because I have my thoughts for it. So again, as I was saying yesterday, I like the names with names that revolve around, like, runes, symbol, um... Um like symbology, things that like feel metaphysical in a way where it's like, when we look at like cave paint, like the way I want to treat it is like, cave paintings come to life are my monsters. You know what I mean? It's not cave paintings, but like I'm, I'm trying to play around with something where there were creatures that you know, people may have, um, oh, hold on, let's do this right. So we got to do that, that, come around this way, okay. Um, yeah, so like, the, the one that I really like as far as a word is glyphics, like hieroglyphics. Right, there's something inherently like to me personally magical about hieroglyphics. They're beautiful symbols, their language, their art, their you know, pictographs, right? They express a period in time long gone. And I wanted to like see if I could get a name that fits something like that. Holy hip moly. Mega hip moly. Holy moly. If we do mega hip moly, we gotta have mega hip mon chan. Grimer's kind of a slime, but like, he's more like pollution than he is slime. And Ditto is super specific too, you know? Um, but yeah, what I'm trying to say is like, I was like trying to play with words for glyphics, even G-L-I-F-F-I-X, glyphics. Um, but... I like the G-L-Y-P-H. It looks really nice when I like see it together. Oh, uh, wait, I've been... <sighs> okay. Um, is that Moltres? Is that Moltres right there? Hieroglyphon. <laughs> About, yeah, that's that's what I was thinking too, Dingus, when you said that. And I don't think Ditto nor Grimer fits that. So monsters will be, will have that. We're catching Moltres, gang. We're catching Moltres right now. I didn't expect it, but it's happening. Um, so this is what I think. Um, this is basically a rubber chicken on fire. Um, so the word has to be something
Moltres appeared. Moltres stacks Rose? Oh, we gotta fight it. Oh, tight. Match time? There's a timer? Oh, this is cool. This is cool. This is cool. This is cool. How would you redesign Moltres? I would think mostly I want to play around with its colors. I don't think it's... I feel like its wings should just straight up be made of fire. Um, I think... Now's your chance. Articuno, Zapdos, they feel more similar in body shape, even though they're not. Like, they've got unique elements about them. Like, Moltres feels really... Oh, let's use these things. And then I'm also going to... Hold on one second. I'm streaming, you know this. What's up? Wow, how are you? Wonderful. What do you need? Uh huh? Are you picking me up? Uh, yeah, then I should be able to. Okay. <laughs> Feed me lunch that day. Thanks. Bye. All right, cool. Hello, Oni boy. Welcome in. Welcome in. Moltres said, "Did you just call me a rubber chicken?" I did, Moltres. He looks great with these effects. I'll say that. Like the effects really elevate his design quite a bit. Oh my god, I'm, am I this strong that? Is that those things we all like to made? Yeah, I don't love that either. Uh, for my own, I'm using ogres based on Orisha. You can play with breaking up the origin word you're using. Yeah, and uh, so mauled Trez. Uh, H, that was cool. Um, get it? I'm back and I got the goods. You got the pizza. Welcome in. Um, let's see. Hierogenics. The thing is, so with words like all the kind of stuff like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to toss this lightly. Okay, um, so yeah, with hieroglyphics or anything like that, Pokemon is like Pokemon, right? Or Pokemon, like Pokemon. It, it, there's like a, st after saying it so much, like we're kind of used to it. So the word that I want to use, I think, for example, Benny, who, you know, recently renamed his project, Pomble is perfect. It's like a made-up word, yet it perfectly encapsulates the designs of his creatures, right? When you look at those designs, they look like Pombles. Um, so, you know, down the line, I could see myself, you know, when I'm... And again, I feel very close to getting the name that I want. I could see that after I design my creatures, if my story changes or my designs change, or if I look at them and I see, like, they don't look like a glyph something. I could absolutely see myself changing the name. But I want it to be, at most, like, Pombal is only two syllables. That's very important. Like, don't underestimate... Th There's so many things that people don't think about when it comes to names, right? Ease of saying them is one thing, right? Hieroglyphic... It, not that it's super hard to say. Why was catching this Moltres? Granted, I used Ultra Balls and a Golden. But, like, we've wasted more Pokeball on, like, Execute and Firo today. Dang, I wish we had Articuno. I love Articuno. Moltres' data will be added to the Pokedex. A legendary bird Pokemon. As it flaps its flaming wings, even the night sky will turn red. You take Moltres away. Good job, everyone. We got him. Galarian Moltres is absolutely a, the glow up of the century. He looks so sick. Uh, Malices. Malices, Sai Quatro E. What was the last one? It was Zap. So Malices is six for Moltres. Uh. Psyquatro is 
Articuno plus four. And then Zapdos was what? Something Cinco. Uh, instead of saying Galarian Zapdos, you know, and, and Galarian Articuno, I'd rather say Psyquatra is so sick. Um, Hot Topic Moltres. Blazing Moltres. Explain the design, design policy while suffering this. I know, I was trying, Rosa, and I gave up. Zapdos looks like a ripoff of a fan without its beak. I love that Zapdos still, still though. It wasn't Zapsenko. Because, like, Saquacho has a nice flow to it, right? Articuno. Arctic. You know, Uno. Even, I mean, Zapdos isn't a great transition, but like, this one fan came up with Malices, Mal meaning bad in Spanish. And we have Uno, Dos, Tres, so that's why the Spanish continues in Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres. So it's Malices for dark, for Moltres being the sixth one, right? Because Moltres is the third. Zapdos being the first would mean he's the first of the second lineup, which is why he's Psychic Cuatro for Articuno Galarian is Psy Cuatro. So then it was fighting each, the second names would reference the secondary typings, Psychic, Dark, and Fighting. So then it was something fighting with Cinco. Brawl Cinco? No. It was, we had Psy Cuatro, Mali Seis, E, something Cinco. Ace Trainer Kobe. Isn't Colby a kind of cheese? Go on, Empoleon. I know you can do it. Um, but yeah, so the, the... I was trying to see if I could make glyphics work. Like, shortened of hieroglyphics. But that's G-L-Y-P-H-I-C-S. For just glyphics. And then I was like, well, that's just taking half a word. Um, which, you know, it isn't unheard of, um, but I think, um, I tried, like, glyphics, like G-L-I-F-F-I-X, to affix the glyph, maybe, into your lantern, and it, that's how the creature is summoned, but glyphics ended up sounding too, um, sci-fi, and that's what I'm saying, like, you can't just come up with like some quick thing and then just say that's it. You have to again really think of mouthfeel. How how easy it is it for like you know even kids to say, right? Is it catchy? Is it unique? Um, again, I want people to be able to look at my designs and be like, oh, those aren't Pokemon, those aren't Digimon, those are monsters, right? Thinking about it, since the names you Spanish, you think they'd show in Scarlet Violet. In fact, yeah, I think. That would have made sense. But again, the biggest miss of all time was just, I don't like the idea of reusing regional variants for legendaries. The idea of variants is that over time, they've evolved to adapt. So now you're making these legendary Pokemon less legendary because you're saying enough of them were existing in the world and that they've gone extinct and that's why they're legendary. That they aren't like keepers of lightning ice and thunder, for example, right? No, he, oh, sorry. Lightning, ice, and fire. It's like, oh no, they were like probably just birds, and then like now they're legendary because there's only one set left, you know? Um, so it would have been better, yeah, like I guess if they even gave them like the proper Spanish names. Um, if we're like really being pedantic, Galar should have had the Musketeers, right? Um, Galar having Musketeers would make sense with chivalry, or chivalry, I should say, um, knights, and all that kind of fun stuff. <clears throat> yeah, maybe if they wanted to do, like, ancient forms as the legendary, like, roaming trio or whatever... But then, yeah, they did a, a strange thing where very Chinese-inspired Pokemon were the, you know, legendaries. Oh my god. Okay, so we want to go this way. I want that Pokeball, but I bet she's going to... I'm trying to get this done so we can get... 
Do we have an Onyx? And so, you know what? I wonder, like, maybe... Oh, we do have an Onyx. Maybe... Having, um... These Chinese legendaries, Chinese-inspired legendaries, might hint at what's to come as far as, um... What generation might be next? I mean, not that it's absolutely certain, but, you know, it is peculiar, right? Most popular letters for catchy names. Most popular, A. Second popular, this is the stuff that I want to see. Nice, Oni. You would know. You do a lot of dev stuff. Uh, A, I, E, O, U. Third, H, and W, C, G, and Q. X pop up frequently, too. Gal is a real problem with themes. Yeah, exactly. I agree. And look, at the end of the day, it's not like any region is super sound as far as... Wait a second. Didn't we come this way already? Okay, because we did drop the thing, so maybe we need to go back down. Son of a bitch. We do have a mysterious A Pokemon coming up, the legendary. Musketeers were French. They should have. Oh, okay, they were French. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I was being. Uh, you're right. You're right. They are French. I'm thinking of the names. They're hella French. But I digress. Yeah, I feel like. Ga what I'm trying to say is, I'm annoyed that the Galar, um, that must be the one we dropped, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm just annoyed that Galar kind of got robbed of their own unique legendary set. That they, as, look, don't get me wrong, as cool as they look, I'd rather we have brand new Pokemon, especially for legendaries, and in my opinion, it makes Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres feel less legendary, as I described, because what regional variants are, are Pokemon adapting over time, right? So, it does say that are non-native to pa- yeah, exactly. It feels very obvious like they're, they're setting something up, but I wouldn't immediately be like, the very next generation is that, but it is very strange at the same time, is it not? You know? So, yeah, again, I, I do wish Galar... Dude, imagine this. What if, like, Galar got its own legendaries and they were, like, royal court to Zacian and... and uh, I was going to say Zygarde. Zacian and Zamazenta. You know? That would be way cooler. That would have been like, oh, wow, these were Pokemon who tended to these kings, you know? The king and queen, right? Brother and sister... Yeah, that's another thing. Look, I get it. Like, if we go to another country and they're like, these are pigeons. And we're like, those don't look like pigeons. Where I'm from, we have pigeons, you know? But I think for the... Run away, run. I don't care. But I think it would have been way cooler if... If at the end of the day, like... Pokemon got different names like when, when you play Alolan Ninetales in Pokemon Unite We say a, a nine as shorthand and you know That's fine, but like I Get it like natives, you know, wherever they are their front to their country would say Oh, yeah, this is my you know, this is a mouse and then someone else comes and they're like that's not a mouse um, but I think for, for like housekeeping, they should have just kept it simple, in my opinion. You know, be like, yeah, this is the Alolan Ninetales, and it, you know, is colloquially or otherwise known as, you know, it's evolved enough to be its own entity, but still be clearly, you know, not inspired in, in, as far as design from meta sense. Designed by Ninetales, but it's not. Galar has the horses, kinda. Yeah, but even still, that's like a DLC thing. That's not baked into the game. Uh, look, I'm just saying the other region stories are simple enough. Galar's story just feels broken. Also, you're onto something. Yeah, with Galar's story, I do love how, you know, the time travel kind of twist at the end landed. It was pretty cool. Um, 
time is always kind of a tricky thing. It had a lot to do. It had a lot to overcome as far as its own performance, right? Um, I have a feeling since Gen 10 is taking its time, it's going to be, again, like, they know they've screwed up in the last few years. The fact that they're taking time, potentially with this game, a Plaza, Pokemon Legends ZA, it's a good sign that, like, they're trying to take it seriously and, you know, I think we're only going to benefit from that, you know? Pokemaniac Dawson. Bla Ooh, Blastoise! Nice! So, gang, do you guys think... Someone asked me yesterday if I was going to do starters, right? The thing is, I like the idea of starters because it gives you a little, somewhat of a feeling of ownership of your journey. People like choice. But it's also such an inherently Pokemon kind of thing. Does anyone know how Digimon do starter Digimon in their games? And if they even call them starters? Because I don't want to do Grass, Fire, Water. I feel like that's just two Pokemon. If anything, I'd want to give you, like, a partner, kind of like, you know, in, in the Persona games. You get, you know, your main Persona, but, like, they actually encourage you to, like, swap them up. You know? Was there time travel... In Galar? Uh, as far as explaining... I don't want to talk spoilers, but if chat wants to talk spoilers, the game's been out for a while. So I won't say anything, even though it's been out. But there was something that came out in the DLC. A really interesting bit. Um, okay, so I guess, yeah, we hit that way. Do we dare fight this guy? The last time, his, a Ditto kicked our ass. Let's do it. Uh, so again, I don't want to call my game a game. I would say my concept. I feel like, you know, I should aim, and I'm, I'm not trying to say this in a negative way, but like, as far as realism, I can't pretend that I have the money or the resources, you know, to be like, it's going to be an open world game with voice acting, with branching path and multiple stories. Like, it's largely going to be linear, you know, like, but again, I'm treating it as a concept first, less as a game. So I'm thinking like designs... I do have to think about some game mechanic designs because that might affect how the creatures would be designed, but I did in my original intention was to like, you know, give you like party creatures, kind of like traditional JRPGs like Chrono Cross, you get like, or Chrono Trigger, or Final Fantasy 7 or 8, you unlock party members, right? Um, but like... People don't understand that there's so many people in like the teams that make Pokemon games or Temtem or whatever. It's gonna be literally just me designing how many creatures. I know I can do it without a doubt, but like that's not the norm. So for me, part of me is thinking like I do something like a hundred solid designs and then potentially more if I wanted to, but like, you know, I'm not trying to say this bad about anybody, but I think fans are spoiled. Like, they're gonna expect my concept or tamer thing to have like 150, but it's just me developing a concept, you know? Bob me, hello baby, what's up, Deebs? Call it your project. Yeah, I'm gonna call it like my concept project or something like that. There aren't any traditional starters. You get one Digimon, usually they can devolve, Digivolve into many different forms. Start with a dog bond, so you guys know how much I like dogs. Maybe, maybe a slime would be cool if you're keeping them as adaptable. That's true. Light research shows that Digimon has six starters? God damn. Uh, look at the main game, was too meh, and I don't like wasting money. Um, we could talk about the little twist of the end of 
Why did I use Surf? Because I'm not paying attention. Uh, at the Pokemon Violet DOC. Um, but uh, should I write, what if Ash Ketchum was the protagonist? Of, if you want, whatever you'd like. Did you want types a lot, a, a lot of complex? There's vaccine data and virus and also separate field typing like Dragon's Roar? Huh. Just excited for you, Bonnie. I love your work. Thank you, Sketch. You're so kind, man. Um, yeah, you guys don't know. I've done, like, a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff. Not, like, art-related. Like, but again, trying to, like, settle on a look, feel. Even yesterday's question, I believe Dingus be just asking the best questions. He was asking, like, what's my naming convention gonna be? And even, like, naming conventions can help um, keep your project unique and separate from other things, right? Like in Persona, the names are of actual mythos. Uh, Pokemon have clever kind of combination names. Um, you have uh, Digimon all end in Mon. You have like the franchise as a whole, whole and the characters are called Digimon, but then you have Dogmon and uh, you know, human, human Mon and whatever. Excited for the dinosaur and dragon monsters. And Digimon don't permanently evolve, it's all temporary. I like Kabuterimon. I like that too. Maybe like a guardian monster to switch you onto your journey into the world. That's what I'm thinking too. Um, I think Digimon can also be multiple types. I'll have to double check. Bonnie, dude, I'm just telling you, Gallagher is the British one. Oh, I'm tweaking. I'm sorry. I'm thinking Paldea. Yeah, uh, Gallagher. Yeah, Gallagher was a little disappointing. Uh, in many ways. I, it was fine. I enjoyed it, you know? Um, but, uh, yeah, it was like this, cr like, it was kind of a little hard to believe, because I think Chairman Rose was like, there's something bad going to happen a thousand years from now. Better destroy the world now, or whatever it was. It's just, I, I didn't like how homegrown the starters were, not starters, the legendaries were, by the way, Zarud being the third guy potentially with Zashian and Zamazenta, and then just being this weird grass dark ape. Not my jam. Um, I wish there was a cool trio guy. Um, Eternatus, awesome, but it's like, why do we have an Eldritch threat? You know? Um, I would have liked if everything felt a little more homegrown, you know? Um... But, you know, it is what it is. If I have to pardon a Digimon, it's Leomon, which, which is straight up a dude. Um, I'm gonna pass up on Cloud Strife as Lion. Or was his next level super? The base game in the first DLC was so boring that Crown Tundra. Dude, I, you know. Oh, did we make it out? Nice. I never bought the DLC. To me, like, they felt lazy. I didn't feel inspired to give them my money, God forbid. You know, I was just like, yeah, I'm good. Um, meanwhile, I was very ecstatic to see what they cooked up for this generation. I thought they did a great job with the DLC. You know? Zerub is a mythical that no one remembers. We already had a grass ape. So to get something so similar felt like very... Like, what was the thought process there? We already got Rillaboom, and I love Rillaboom. Zerud just was, like, not too far away, you know? Um, Regilecki's deck says that it can power a region for a thousand years, a real slap in the face to Rose. Zerud, boring, way boring. Not sure you befriend your mom, I feel really depends on your theme, and mind you make friends that help you with your journey instead of throwing a ball, you share honey. I remember the honey. Nova Hoenn best, in my opinion. Nova! Anytime you guys say you know, but I see that emoji with like the roar. Oh, let's go partner. Let's do our best. I'm counting on you. I'm gonna say let's go partner because I see you as my equal. No, you know what? Let's do our best. I'm, I don't want to say I'm counting on you. That's a lot of pressure for a little dork, my beautiful baby dork. Let's say let's do our best. Zerud is basically Tarzan, exactly. Oh, yeah, and then of course the American Eagle. My Pikachu, my, my little buddy. All right. Completes the trio as the antagonist. Yeah, but like, again, it just feels so random. I would have liked if the legendaries also, like, to me, 
I feel like Eternatus is a better fit as a villain. They they tied it well, don't get me wrong. They tied it really well with light, sun and moon, and like an entity like what's his name? He's like that black mirror glassy finish crystal uh legendary necrozma that's cool there's nice cohesion in those concepts and themes you're like here's the king and queen of england fighting a giant space alien eldritch abomination it doesn't land for me like you could put technically any villain and then it completes the trio as antagonist all the games have a pseudo antagonist in some way so like you know that logic wouldn't track would would track for every Oh, a Lolan Executor. I don't even have regular Executor. Jim has no visual connection to Legendary. Yeah, that's my issue with it. And granted, look, I'm not asking, like, give me a Eldritch Abomination 2 Legendaries. Actually, fucking hell yeah, that'd be so sick. But visually, it just feels way too aesthetically different for it to feel cohesive like two knights in the king they serve calyx kind of it's not really linked with the dogs yeah exactly point of dead for dead is right yeah that's that's what i'm getting at technically every one of the trios many of the trios kyogre and groudon maybe whether or not they view rayquaza as the antagonist they view each other as antagonists rayquaza has visual designs and its motifs and its long arms with the uh, not arms, it's long serpentine body with the black lines and the circles and stuff. I guess if it's the theme of the British fighting anything they deem foreign? Mm -hmm. I see the joke, but yeah, I don't, you know. Uh, one of my top favorites, put Dead Pit and Sweet that matches Karaidon. Um, yeah, let's get some... You know what? I'm going to get me... Hyper Potion. You know what? Let's do that. Super potions? Wow, high promotion's a lot more money than I thought. Okay. You have a lot of money. I'll buy you. We need to get. I mean, I suspect we'll be fine. How many revives do we have? In your bag, 10. We're good with that. I mean, I'm. Sh oh, you know what? The rest of my team's kind of weak. It's Needle King that's going to be the, the monster who's going to carry. Right? You know what? Let's just buy another 10 of these just in case. Ultra, yeah, it, I, that's what I was saying. I feel like Eternatus in a story with Ultra Wormholes and Ultra Beasts, like, you know, we could be like Lunala. And don't get me wrong, they landed the story for, for Alola perfectly. I love a Pokemon that's trying to steal the light. Awesome. Cool concept. But you could have, and I'm not saying it's entirely interchangeable, so don't kill me, but like, it would have been cool if like, instead of Necrozma, or like, it's a design that looks like Necrozma with elements of Eternatus, whatever it is, Lunala and Solgaleo team up to fight off, you know, an, a UB that's even foreign to them, right? It fits better in that way. Um... Forbidding angles and non-charming spiky. I've seen a few people speculate Eternatus being connected to Naganada as some kind of evolution. That's way, uh, way a reach. But like, you know, that's like saying like Lando Calrissian is Finn's dad in Star Wars because there's like two black people in Star Wars. I remember people saying that. I'm like, oh my god, the galaxy is massive. But nope, these two people have to be connected. Um. Emacs Eternity actually has eyes, its fingertips are its eyes. Ultra Necrozma will never be accessed again. Should have been Dark Tide, not Psychic. Um, oh, interesting that it's... Wait, it's not Dark? They tease another Ultra Beast in the final Sun and Moon. Interesting. Yeah, imagine they were like, it's Eternatus? That'd be sick. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna close up shop here. It's almost 8.30. I see that, look, I I came to stream late today, 10 minutes late. So I'm gonna do 10 minutes, I'm gonna work on stream. I'm going to work on the crust for Team Galaxy because that's like a, a chill thing that I can kind of work on. 
I can't believe it's not dark. That's super crazy. The Revelers pure psychic. An ultra psychic dragon? They should have just made it like psychic dark or dark dragon. I like the irony of it being like pure light and it's like a dark dragon. But then look. You see how we're arguing it should be this, it should be that. Other people would, if it were the other way around, maybe they'd be like, it can't be dark, it's pure light. You know, like you can never win, which is what I've learned in my YouTube comments when I'm making my Ben 10 mods. Why isn't this Ben 10 alien this type or this Ben 10 alien that type? And I'm like, because I wanted it to be this. So yeah, let me, let's spend 10 more minutes together, guys. Make sure you leave a like. I'm plugging in my, my tablet. There's some cool stuff I'm working on that, I'm, again, I unfortunately can't share with you guys. Um, let me see if I can show you guys anything cool. Nah, you know what? Well, like I said, we'll just chill. We're going to chat for the last 10 minutes. Um... I'm going to go ahead and flip this on. And so I did a flip and I'm just going to kind of clean up um, this design from here as we chat for the last 10 minutes. So I was connected to the main legends potentially, but like it didn't even visually line up with the others, which is fine as an antagonist. At least it's close because they're all ultra beasts. Whereas they're like two wolves who are born in Galar who somehow got legendary power. And then, cause look, even the wolves, if you're like the wolves got powers cause they were like G max in the past, I'd be like, oh, okay, cool. They have like Dynamax connection, but they don't have that. So it just feels really weird. Maybe that could have been its link to Eternatus and maybe their G max forms, they look far more alien or something, right? But that wasn't the case. Man, it's crazy how much more I prefer designing and drawing on my iPad. Like my hands cramp way faster here um, than they do when I'm working on the iPad. Can't believe, remember I was trying to make um, I was trying to find a font that would have worked for the G and nothing worked. So I ended up having to like mold my own. <sighs> Team Void, very cool name. Uh, too many conflicting light Draco the photosensitive would suffer light and sound type coming in gen 10 gen 10 2069 no 20 let's realistically what do we think 2026 maybe um let's see imagine a battle between ultra necrozma and eternative eternamax eternatus who's winning that who's winning that Am I the only one that thought Black Kieran was Ice Electric? It's because of all the gold going on, right? For that design. Uh, the dogs don't have G-Max forms. It's very weird. I want to know why these dogs became so powerful that they became like the heroes. We know why they're, they're famous. They saved the Galar region. But how did you stop that entity without even g maxing or maybe they dynamax but it's not like they really talk about it you know obviously look that stuff shouldn't bother me as much as it does but it does it's very weird designing a letter um reversed because then it really doesn't look like the symbol, the letter it's supposed to be. But I'm trying to still make it work. Dang, I should have actually done this on a, another layer so I could have flipped it and seen the difference. 
The dogs literally can't Dynamax, let alone G-Max. Why can't they literally Dynamax or G-Max? Um, maybe you need a boom arm? Ooh, that would be nice. Um, why, is the audio kind of bad right now? Let me see, is this better? Um, it has to be the 2026 for the 30th anniversary. Yeah, I think you're right. I think 30th anniversary is the play that also gives them plenty of time to let this thing bake. The Pokemon fans have been burned enough, I think. And, you know, they put out that notice saying, like, we apologize for the performance issues and all of the issues. And it, you know, takes a lot to say that, you know, like a lot of companies don't have to do that. Granted, Japanese companies are very honorable. They're very indebted to their audience and, you know, so there's that, but... I would love a boom mic. Dogs have moves that do two times. Oh, okay. They have at least... But see, I still want to hear the reasoning why that is. Like, how were they blessed with that ability? What makes them legendary? You know, like, for me, you guys know this about many of my design. I love giving context, right? I, I think it's so important. Um, it makes things feel more believable and therefore more grounded. You know, like... Within reason, leave no stone unturned, unless you know you're deliberately trying to set up something, right? The G does feel very rigid, and then I gotta say, I do like the way this thing kind of like comes flying out, and then it kind of lands on this star here, which is nice. No, the boom arm was for your drawing. Oh. You know what, but I'm not used to drawing it on the curve. I do like it flat, but you're right. Maybe that's why. No, but then again, I draw flat on my iPad. Granted, it's one-to-one. -one. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's because it's one-to-one. -one. It's. I just feel more strain for some reason when I'm doing it this way. And I don't know why. What do you think they'll replace in the 30th anniversary game? They replaced gyms in Alola. Uh, I don't think they're going to replace anything. I think it's going to be just the, the truest celebration they can get for, for the franchise. I think that's what their goal is. Like, rather than trying to, like, obviously I think they will, and you know, we always make fun of it or get annoyed like, oh, they don't bring back our favorite gimmicks and stuff. But like these companies can never do right or wrong, right? Either, either a company puts out the same game every year. Oh, FIFA is the same game every year. Or a Call of Duty will come out and then they'll be like, oh, they didn't do anything different this year. And yeah, same thing happens with Pokemon fans. There's going to be fans who are going to be like, oh my god, they haven't changed anything. They're so lazy. They're so this. Or they're like, oh my god, they didn't bring back my same issue. It's too different. I don't like it. You can't win. I think what they should do is, you know, find that middle ground, which they usually try to do. A lot of the games usually do feel mostly the same. And then they do add new gimmicks to make things different, right? In many cases, it alters the way Pokemon designs come out and look, have a look-feel, right? G-Max, you know, will inspire a different kind of look-feel for designs, uh, as would Mega Evolution, right? Um, so, yeah. Honestly, I think their goal... Their number one goal will be to um, pretty much just make sure that the games look and feel great. I think that's the number one things that the fans have been annoyed about. Like design, look, same thing. 
they're never going to win with designs. People are going to be like, it looks like Digimon. It do they don't look like Pokemon. They don't look like this. Don't worry about that. Just make the game pretty and make the game run well. Because those are the, the game-breaking kind of things. Graphics help with immersion and gameplay, meaning lack of issues, make sure that we live in the world without fear of the game breaking uh, or ruining um, the fun that we have. Like, I had some bugs and glitches that totally pulled me out of the game. You know? Uh, let me see how this star looks. Pretty good. It's You can see how subtly the alterations have landed, right? Um... I think it would be a tie or Ultra Necrozma. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a tie, but someone would win. Uh, it would definitely not be easy. What do you think they'll replace in the 30th? It's part of their game data. They just don't have the option. Boom on the drawing tab. I guess which admin from Team Rocket? They're ancient. They're the heroes 3,000 years before the times. Oh my god, they're that old? I mean, I guess it's their Pokemon world, so they could still have like kings and queens and knights and swords and shields. Giants that are stories. I'm assuming the dogs being normal work with them taking down giants. Connection is the fact that they defeated Turnus, nothing more. I think they'll have the best customizations options in 10. Yeah, exactly. We definitely want customization. We definitely want function, we, right? We want to be able to, again, play this game and not worry. Oh, this part is really jank. So let's fix that. You know, it was really, really jank. Um... It's weird because the games have gotten better and better with like character customization. And then the fact that like they're like, here's just school uniforms, I get it. But it was like, really? Oh, okay. Let's make this sword come out all the way like this. Either this is Age of Sash's sword or Team Glory's Evil King's tie that someone bought for Father's Day. And he was like, you know what, my evil team, thank you for this tie. I will treasure it forever. If I ever become a dad and my kid gets me a tie or socks, I'll be so happy, dude. I'm a simple man. I'm a family man, like Guile. Go home and be a family man. All right, let's bring it like that. I guess I can bring this up a little bit. Hand painting a sigil like this is kind of crazy. I don't recommend it. Because I could have just, you know, essentially relined it all and it would be like neater. But I think doing it this way will create a nice level of texture and kind of grit that works well for a, you know, a fantasy kind of crust. By the way, I chatted with uh, our mod Jim Lader JC because he's one of the OGs of the channel who had seen Pokemon Cross D&D. And so I've made the announcement, but I'll continue to just let people know I've actually kind of changed my tune about doing a release for the games, uh, the games, my updated remake of Pokemon Cross D&D, because I realized something. When I had planned, oh, I'm going to just do a, the revamp as far as art and stuff, I just realized something. All we have to do, take this half, because that, that to me is the better half, paste, and then bam. There we go, way more accurate. You see how off it was? God damn. All right. Um, and yeah, because it is so radically different as far as um, you know, my original intentions. Again, none of the party except Sableye, even Sableye and how we meet him and stuff will be slightly different. 
Um, I realize it's just way too different, so I would rather... Um, I would rather, because it's so different, I am going to do week by week releases, and then furthermore, um, it's going to be three mons a week instead of two. Um, so there's going to be a total of nine chapters, and you'll meet 27 new characters. Well, not all new, but like a good chunk of them have been reworked. Um, it's, it's just so much better. It's so much more exciting, better flow, better storytelling. I just can't wait to share it with you guys. So I'm going to be, originally I was planning on releasing the full comp. Again, I was only planning on changing, I mean, just kind of like putting out the end and maybe making like a few adjustments, but because as I kept rewriting it and realizing, oh, I don't like the way the audio sounds or, um, you know, I want like these characters to have arcs and or I can't fulfill that many arcs without it feeling too crowded. Um, it just made sense that it's going to be a massive overhaul than it is a simple director's cut. So it'll be nine chapters. And then when I do put them all in one compilation video after the nine weeks, and I'm going to front load my work. So basically I will have all nine chapters ready and done and that they will come out week by week and you don't have to wait. So there won't be the issue of last time where I was like practically getting out each video done week by week. And it's a lot of content to make, right? Writing a story, narrating it with my voices, editing and producing the video, getting the art done. It was a lot. So this time I'm just way better prepped. It's going to be awesome. I hope you guys are excited for it because I am in love with this project again. This is what I always intended it to be. And uh, it's going to be awesome. It's just going to be um, something that I hope people, um, you know, will... Get to know my channel for right, like, oh, Mr. Bonnie John, the guy who worked on that Pokemon Cross D and D series, right? I was thinking, I don't know if I'm gonna call it Pokemon Cross D and D. I think for advertisement's sake, yes, but I want to hear from you guys. I was thinking I could call it something in Dragonite, like Dungeons and Dragons, but do oh, maybe I can call it Dunsparce and Dragonite. It's like Dungeons and Dragons, Dunsparce and Dragonite. That'd be really cute. Um, just as like a funny gimmick kind of name, just to let it live more in the world. Um, let me know what you guys think. A little bit of shadow there. I mean, already, even if it's backwards, you can already tell it's just so much cleaner. And that's all I'm trying to do, right? Um, still in rage about glitching through the floor? Jesus. I never had anything so game-breaking, but for me, uh, I had a thing where um, I just had moments where it pulled me out of the game. And I love being like, you know, playing a game and falling in love with the environment and the characters and like I want to while I'm playing feel like I'm elsewhere I'm not on earth you know um and uh I'd see like things where like I caught a gold duck but you could see what they do with the model which is shrink the model they don't even make it like invisible when you catch it they shrink it down to fit in the pokeball which is stuff that we're not supposed to see yeah it's accurate to the pokemon name pocket monsters but like that's more a dev thing and i, I was like laughing so much because you see this golduck who's like seven inches tall and like it's like congrats you caught golduck and he's like standing through my pokeball like it was so funny it was so crazy okay i think i'm going to also extend this main hilt up a little bit, but I'm going to have to um, sh 
shrink this poster a little bit because it's pretty massive actually. That way the hilt breaks the encasing just a little bit more. I think that it doesn't need to be too much, but like... Yeah, something like that. In that case, actually, we might need to bring the sword out just a bit. Yeah, that's all. It's good for something as solid as a shield to, you know, still have moments that, um, break the silhouette, you know, even for something like a crest. Um, let's see. Maybe the ultimate weapon caused a rift that opened ultra wormholes? Yeah, that's that's what my new headcanon is, JC. That's my new headcanon. Um, let me show you. I missed a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, Game Freak has a weird obsession with having big events take, take place 3,000 years in the past. The War for Kalos and the Darkest Day. I mean, it might... I don't know if it's a weird obsession other than maybe making it easier for them if a lot of things happen in a specific way they can connect it right i hate the iv mechanic because it literally incentivizes selective breeding i agree i don't like that at all still having a glitch with my sandwich table just not spawning when i start a picnic yeah that's bad that it's still happening you know um let's see the dunce park a drag cloak i think dragonite is better because dungeons and dragons so dragon knight is just you know um, that makes the story sound like Dunce Bars and Dragonite. True, I don't think it's something I would use to advertise it, but uh, Dunce Bars and Dragonite, especially the dragon character. Now, I'm not doing either of those, or am I? If you're having fun with it, then I'm happy. Thank you. Dungeons are a thing in Pokemon, but Dunce Bars is cute. Plus, Dunce Bars builds mazes. Dungeons and Dragonites. Yeah, maybe I'll just do Dungeons and Dragonites. Yeah, I like that. Maybe Sword Shield takes place in the non-mega timeline. I don't know anything about timelines and stuff. I'm just here to have a good time in this line or something. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm just in love with Pokemon Cross D&D again. Um, the very first character we beat is, I guarantee it, a character no one would see coming in a million years um meaning first of the party oh i'm erasing that's why i'm like why is it making that color okay i was about to say um and they are a, a character class that was not represented yet in pokemon cross dnd version one so that's another hint um and then on top of that they're based on a Pokemon that is known for, you know, something that the class does. But I don't think anyone really plays like that in the actual games. So, again, I'm just so ecstatic to, to like share this and show you guys. Uh, let's extend the hilt out a little bit. I think the only issue is the hilt is gold too, and the edge of these, of this lettering is gold, and I think it kind of gets in the way. So I might have to change the gold. <clears throat> I, otherwise, I like the way this G kind of like comes around and hooks into... You know what let's do i guess we have to do that maybe no you know what maybe first of all let's do this let's be smart we've got a star here i'm gonna take this star control z control v
Oh, that's weird. And then we're going to... Wow, this star is way bigger. I'll make it like that, cover that space. <clears throat> Move tool. Move slightly. There are a lot of things on Photoshop on my PC that I like better than, say, Photoshop in on, on iPad. Like, for example, when I move certain things on the iPad, when I'm, like, free moving something, like, iPad will automatically, as if, you know, it's thinking it's, it's helping me, it will straight up snap the item, you know, and it's really annoying. Like, it snaps it to where it thinks I want to put it, and it's never the case. So moving and manipulating things here is just way better. I think this G needs to be extended a little bit because it'll look funky otherwise. I guess same with the way this star is. I can't wait to flip this and we'll see if it actually looks good or if it's... I mean, it'll at least look aesthetically better, but I'm sure I'll see like a lot of things that I, I'll need to maybe move or adjust. You know? For example, I'm noticing that this part of the G right here, this gray bit, is not as thick as the right side. How open the G is here. You know? I'm gonna put this kind of thing in the middle here. This will allow all this open space to just feel a little more um, filled in. And it kind of looks like blades, you know? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut the G there. I might have to change the star on this side, I wonder. Maybe I can put a second star as well, actually. You know, I've seen crusts, like, they're very asymmetrical, they've got a lot of... I mean, I guess it kind of insinuates shiny, but we'll see. Maybe I'll find another symbol that works at some point. Shinies do come with this symbol, right? Two stars. Gassies and Gengars? Too far out there. It's me, I'm the character. Take it to an artificer would be fitting. Ooh, would be six. Take care, Rose. Have a good one. Have a good one. Um, okay. So, I think this is good for now. Oh, crap. It's almost already nine o'clock. I was like, I'll just work for ten minutes. But, I don't want to fall into my old habits. So, let's flip and see how... Oh, what is this? Hold on. That needs to go. Oh, this is going to look so much cleaner. And then this is an artifact as well from the previous. Okay, let's see how it looks. I'm going to flip. It definitely looks cleaner. It definitely looks cleaner. Um, let's do... Free transform and see how it looks. Not bad. It definitely looks like the G, you know, that we need for Team Glory. I think that the G actually, I think I can bring it down a lot lower because there's, the space in between here is quite a bit. Also, I would say that this G needs to come like right here to be exactly centered.
Yeah, and I'm thinking the the gold. You know what? Maybe let's try a purple edge. Cause that way. Yeah, then the gold hilt won't clash with the gold edges. And that kind of fits for Aegislash too, right? All the purple. They're not perfect, but yeah, it's getting closer. I do like the purple there. Maybe we could do gold edges maybe on the stars or something. The spiral shield eyes could replace this. Oh yeah, that's true. That is true. That's actually a great idea. Okay. So I think, you know what? I might have to just bring this down right here. And yeah, okay. I see what I have to do. So you see this line right here? What we need to do is have this line over here be the end and then that connects up. What is that sound I keep hearing? Am I going crazy? You guys hear that? Is that from like Pokemon or something? Pokemon's still on. Maybe it's that. Uh, let's turn it off. <laughs> All right, I think I see what I need to do. Yeah, and then we'll have the G. come out like this. This would need to be equidistant this way and that way. It's a lot more to graphic design than you would think. Or maybe you do know that already. Yeah, I think I want to make it bigger. The G is the main thing that should be on highlight. So if it's something like that, yeah, that's perfect. And do surgery so we're putting the lines that we need to have for sure so it needs to be like that and then that will come up like this something very superman logo about this The thickness needs to be the same as well. Got the sword comes down. Okay, we can make this work. And then when this comes... Okay, cool. Guys, I think I'm gonna call it for the night. Um, for as much as I got cleaned up, I ended up seeing how much I still need to adjust and alter. But overall, I would say the crest for the evil team um, is definitely underway. Uh, feeling better and better about the approach here. Um, Guys, I'm going to call it, like I said, make sure you leave a like as you guys um, head out for today. We had a solid three hours. We'll continue tomorrow with the gaming. We'll beat the Elite Four, and then the next day we'll fight the champion. So great stream. Thank you. Thank you, Dingus. Thank you to all of you. Have a wonderful night. Um, leave me any feedback for Pokemon Cross D&D stuff as you know, as you see fit based on anything we work or if you've got any ideas. 
um leave a comment on the vod if you'd like um and stay tuned for more and more news uh i'll release collab information as to what's to come whenever that's good to go but uh in the meantime i'll you know be taking care of the stuff that i'm making for you guys so take care and be well i